Hello everyone, this is Andrew again, and now we're going to discuss Instrumentation and Controls Part 1, Basic. Okay, let's start. Now we're going to discuss first, what is measurement, what is range, standard instrumentation signal, why standard instrument signal lower range value is not zero, what is transmitter? Part of transmitter and working principle. Okay, now let's discuss what is measurement. By definition, measurement is the determination or identification of the magnitude of a variable. But what are these variables? In instrumentation, we have these five basic variables. It can be a temperature, pressure, level, flow, or analytical. And magnitude means it is the size or the quantity. For example, in temperature, we have 100 degrees Celsius. 100 here is the magnitude. And degree Celsius is the unit. For the pressure, we have 20 bars, 20 here is the magnitude, and bars is the unit. We also have 10 Pascal, 10 here is the magnitude, Pascal is the unit. For level, we have 2 meters, we have 2 as magnitude, and meters as unit. Then we have 100 mm. For flow, we have 4 liters per minute, 4 is the magnitude, liters per minute is the unit, 0 0.1 gallon per second. For analytical, it deals with chemical properties such as pH or the acidity, oxygen level, humidity, and etc. What is range? By definition, it is the limit of measurement variation. For example, an air thermometer can measure from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius only, while the thermometer gun can measure from 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. The lower limit is called LRV or lower range value, while the upper limit is called URV or the upper range value. This will be the example here. Zero here is the LRV or lower range value. And 100 here is upper range value. The difference between URV and LRV is called span. Span is equivalent to URV minus LRV. Now, let's discuss about standard instrument signal. By definition, standard signal is used to send the value of the process variable from one instrument to another. For standard mechanical signal, we have 3 to 15 PSIG for English system and we have 0.2 to 1.0 bar for metric system. Then we have standard electrical signal we have 4 to 20 milliampere dc we have 1 to 5 volts dc and we have here a substandard electrical signal we have 0 to 20 milliampere and 0 to 5 volts 0 to 10 volts negative 10 to 10 volts these are the electrical signals that are substandard, but it is still used on some of our instrument. Okay, before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Don't forget to like and share our videos. Please like our Facebook page and click see first to notify you for new posts.
If you like this video, please put a comment nice below. Now let's answer this question. Why is standard instrument signal LRV is not zero? As you can see here, these are standard instrument signal and the lower range value is not zero. And here, we have zero as the lower range value, but here we have substandard signal, but the lower range value is negative 10. Okay, I will discuss this later. The answer for this question is, to identify if the reading is zero or the wire is open. Now let's use substandard signal. Let's say we have 0 to 5 volts. We have a PLC signal of 0 volts. The voltmeter reading of 0. Instrument reading of 0. It means the lower limit. We have 3 volts. And that will be the mid range. Next we have 5 volts here. And that is the upper limit. And now let's say that we have an open wire here. The PLC signal is 0 volts. We have 3 volts and 5 volts. But as you can see here, because the wire is open, the voltmeter reading is 0. And the instrument reading is 0 also. And 0 volt is interpreted as the lower limit. But if we use a standard signal, the lower range value is 1. And if the instrument receives zero, it means it is faulted. From our example while ago, we have negative 10 to 10 volts. If we have a range from negative 10 to 10 volts, there is a value between them which is zero. And because of that, negative 10 to 10 volt signal is considered as substandard. And now let's discuss about the transmitter. What is a transmitter? A device used to convert a substandard signal to a standard instrumentation signal. It is a device that senses the process volume through the medium. These are the part of transmitter and let's discuss its working principle. Let's say you have a process variable here. It can be a pressure, temperature, level, flow, or analytical. Now, we have the primary element. The primary element is the substance that reacts when there are changes on the process variable. Example, the voltage of thermocouple changes as temperature changes. Then, the primary element will release a substandard signal. For example, a type G thermocouple will release 10.779 millivolts when it is exposed to 200 degrees Celsius. Then, we have here the signal conversion and data processing. At this stage, the substandard signal is converted to a standard signal using electronic component and circuit like operational amplifiers for signal conditioning. And here, the 10.779 millivolt is now converted to a standard signal using an electronic components. Then here, for signal transmission, the user need to decide if the output signal is 4 to 20 milliampere or 1 to 5 volts. Okay, let's have this example. We have the range, lower range value of 10 degrees Celsius and upper range value of 210 degrees Celsius. Let's say we have a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. We have the thermocouple type J for primary element. Then we have the substandard signal here. And let's assume 
that the user decide to use one to five volts. The signal is now converted into a one volt. Now let's have 60 degrees and 3.116 millivolts is the substandard signal. And the voltage output is two volts. Let's have 110 degrees Celsius. We have 5.814 millivolts. The output voltage will be 3 volts. Then let's have 160 degrees Celsius. We have a substandard signal of 8.562 millivolts. And the output signal will be 4 volts. And let's say the temperature is 210. We have a substandard signal of 11.334. And the output voltage is 5 volts. Okay, let's have our exercise. Find the temperature if the voltage reading is 1.25 volts. Use the table for your reference. We need to find the temperature here if the reading of the voltmeter is 1.25 volts. As you can see here, 1.25 is between 1 and 2 volts. It's somewhere here. And we need to set 1 volt as lower voltage and 2 as our upper voltage. Then 1.25 at the middle and we need to put the equivalent temperature here and this one also using interpolation we will come up with this formula then using some algebra we will get this result we have a value of 22.5 here. Okay, next. Find the temperature if the voltage reading is 3.32 volts. Use the table for your reference. Okay, now, please pause this video and try to solve it by yourself. Okay, let's continue. First, we know that 3.32 is between 3 volts and 4 volts. Because of that, we need to put 3 volts here and 4 volts here and put 3.32 volts at the middle. And we need to put the equivalent temperature here and here also. Then using interpolation, we will come up with this formula using algebra. This will be the answer. The temperature here is 126. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please like and share my YouTube videos and like my Facebook page. Please click see first on our Facebook page to notify you for new posts. If you like this video, please comment nice. Please comment negative and colon and put your negative comments about this video. Please type suggestion semicolon and put the suggestion about this video. And if you think that this video needs some improvement, just type improvement semicolon and put the things that you want to improve about this video. I will use all of your comment, negative comment, suggestion and improvement so that I can improve 
all my future videos. Thank you for all the feedbacks. And 